Hello everyone and welcome back. I know in the last video I posted I talked about how Melissa and I were looking for a four-wheeler. Tractor works great for almost everything but it's big and there's sometimes when you just don't need to use something quite that big and I can't get into real small spaces. So her and I picked up a Yamaha Grizzly. Thing works really good. Um, it's a 2010. It's a Grizzly 550. I looked at the, I wanted one for sure that had power steering. So I needed over 2007 or whatever. And I was looking at the miles on it and this one only had 1,027 miles. So, I mean, it's, you know, fairly new as far as that goes. Um, it came with a plow which you can see right here, which is going to be nice when we have the smaller snowfalls in the wintertime. And it also came with the trailer. The trailer is not really set up for four-wheeler because um, it sits a little high in the front. When it hooks up, I could put a drop hitch on there. But anyway, it's a nice trailer. I've hauled a lot of weight in it already. <laughs> Seems to hold up pretty good. We were looking at the Grizzlies and the Kodiaks. I had a Kodiak uh, years ago. My dad has a Kodiak right now. I definitely wanted to go with the Yamaha. I've owned the Yamaha before. My dad has forever, and I just really like their machine. I had never had a Polaris or any of the other ones, so I saw no reason to switch brands. I did not want to get like the 660 or the 700. My dad had a Grizzly in the past, and it was, I don't know if it was a 660 or, I'm not sure, that was a long time ago, the first year they came out with them. So I don't even know what the options were, but it had, for him, he said it just had too much power. I have no want to be going 50 miles an hour. This thing will probably go about 30. Most of the time it'll be doing five or 10. I just need something that can pull, and um, this should do a good job with that. I mean, with the Kodiak, a four, I had a 400, my dad has a 450, and that'll pull anything that I want it to pull. So the 550 should be just perfect. It also came with a set of loading ramps. I almost forgot about that. It has a winch on it, which I really wanted, and um, I wanted a plow that was run, lifted with the winch, which this one is. It will probably need a new set of tires in a couple of years. That was about the only thing. I suppose if we need to get new tires, probably going to have to get some new wheels. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. You'll see more about this in the next video. I actually get to use it some. I will see you guys on the next video.